Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. This might sound incredibly nerdy, but I take pride in anticipating my rank ups four days in advance, sometimes a week in advance. It's not just so I can attack the new level up points, but it's because I find playing this game after a while, you're going to get mostly losses instead of wins. So the Marvel Casino of Champions in a way is going to give you a lot more bankruptcies than jackpots. And so I tell myself when I'm most frustrated, if I can be excited, if I can look forward to ranking a champion up in three or four days, then I'm going to actually be happier. And for the most part, that strategy works. Now, I was looking forward to continuing to take up a six-star champion that was the first five-star champion I ever hunted for. Because recently, I took my six-star tech champion, not Ultron, no, not Warlock, but Stark Spidey to rank two. And I even chose tech in the completion 25% tier five class catalyst selector. Uh, I guess I should say I chose the tech for the 7.3 and then mystic for 7.4. But I chose that with the excitement of being able to take up Starkey. But there's an item that may or may not be the thumbnail of this video. I haven't made it yet. That changed everything and put my Stark Spidey rank up on hold. And that is this, the six star mutant class-based awakening gem. It changed things because even though I have one more shot tonight on stream to see if I can land her naturally in the featured crystal, it changed things because I was able to finally have the ability to awaken my Kitty Pride, and she gets her entire utility Kind of like Nick Fury at SIG 1, I believe. So, the great thing about Kitty Pride is that she takes care of nodes and tasks and defenders that are normally pesky when you use her well. But besides that, she has a really incredible synergy with Kitty Pride. When I say Kitty Pride, I mean Tigra. When I say I'm tired, I mean I slept two and a half hours last night. Sometimes I record a video and I'm like, what did I even say? I don't remember. And then I get terrified to look back on it. That moment I just made, uh, that's going to be one of those moments. So Kitty Pride has an amazing synergy with Tigra. Other YouTubers would edit that out, but you're just going to get the full experience with me. Uh, while 10 plus prowess are active, become passively unblockable while phased. That means everything while phased. And then Tigra... Uh, neutralize effects last plus 35% longer. That is amazing. And one of the things I love about Tigra is that you really don't need her awakened. So, my Tigra, and I better clear my ISO while I'm talking about this. My Tigra is currently at rank 1. But I got this really cool rank up gem from 7.3. And so... I am going to actually wait and use more of my rank up materials on the next phase of a tiger rank up, but I'm going to use one of my two generic rank up gems, which I'll get my big head out of the way to show you right here. One of the two at the bottom right now, and I'm going to allow myself a chance to take her up and keep Stark Spidey on hold. This is going to force me to learn Tigra more, which is kind of intimidating to be honest, because I know she takes a decent amount of a learning curve. And once I have that fourth and final uh, tier five basic, I'm gonna take her to rank three. She is gonna be barring any kind of amazing opening. Maybe I'll get Null tonight, maybe I'll get Hyperion tonight, and suddenly this entire conversation is also put on hold like Stark Spidey. But barring any of that, she'll be my next rank three. And I don't even know really how to use her that well. I just know that she's going to be amazing with Kitty and she's gonna make Kitty Pride a lot more fun. So we're going to end how we started because This item changed my entire rank up strategy. I'm so thankful because I've used Archangel a ton in Act 7 so far, and I will even more so. Uh, this item got me to the point 
where I don't have to regret using my Romance 6-star Awakening Gem on Archangel over Kitty, though I don't think I ever really did, because now I can awaken both in a span of only about a month, which is truly awesome. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Happy Level Up event, everybody.